evening and all. Welcome to Kicking Dust. And today we have an interesting dichotomy for you. I got my tank in here. Don't ask me how. Um, it was very messy and it involved jumping and an LAV and lots of death and explosions. Anyway, today is called Base Defender. But we are going to use today's video to talk about perhaps something that seems to be, I guess, uh, a, a movement, dare I say, a movement gathering pace within this game and it is something that i guess i kind of have um reiterated many times before it is the removal of the nerf buff culture as something prevalent to this game um it's funny when i look back at the various shooters i've played that are very similar to this like planet side and i mean even things like quake 3 have a certain i guess synergy with this game um, I think they've all kind of drawn through into a, a player experience that um, the community is obviously quite central to. Okay, so the, the community is obviously very important to uh, to, uh, to to the game. Um, now, Dust is exactly the same as this because Dust's community is obviously very important because obviously we tell um, CCP what we like, what we don't like, what we're interested in, what we're not interested in. And they use that as a veritable basis to then develop the game upon. So that's in theory. That's in theory what it should do. The reality is this game is being manipulated. Here we go, the troll statement. You ready? Get your troll hat on, tinfoil hat at the standby. This game is being manipulated by the few to the benefit of their own. Okay, so they're not, I mean, again, very few quote veteran elite players even give a shit about this game okay they don't give a shit about new players they don't give a shit about pretty much anything as long as their bubble is protected and they and they can manipulate and feel that they have a sense of worth from this game and this is no different to eve i'm i'm grouping eve and dust into this this is this is what epic troll in the gathering are you enjoying it are you getting ready um literally people play eve to have a sense of worth okay they have a shit life shit job shit everything shit family no girlfriend whatever and they play eve i know because i was one of these and I saw a whole group of people who were like this as well. And they used Eve as their milieu, their reason to live, okay? And Dust is no different. We have a whole group of people who obviously can't be anybody in Eve, and they are trying to be somebody in Dust. Okay, that's one group. We have a whole group of people who've come to this game from another shooter like Mag, and they are trying to become somebody in this game as well. Somebody of note, somebody of control, somebody of whatever it may be. You will then have a whole group of people who are coming to this game uh, because it interests them. It has a, a, a veritable interest to them. And they are then getting stomped out of this game. This is something that I have a major issue with, okay? Let me quantify this. So that's my, that's my opening statement, right, made. Let me quantify this. My biggest issue with this game is if I'm having a bad day, let's say I've had a really shitty day where I've had to fire someone or something horrible, I will come into e uh, to Eve, I will come into Dust, and I'll get an LAV, and I'll drive around and run people over, and get shot, and killed, and die like, you know, two kills, 20 deaths, something like that. I'm happy doing that, because it's just a fucking game. There are people in this game who have no concept this is just a game, and that to them, the only sense of achievement is to win, okay? And that is part of the problem, because this requirement or desire to win to, I guess, give that sense of worth, to promote a sense of value, is killing this game, okay? Now, that's a sweeping statement, and very, very easily, I guess, questionably um, made, okay? So this is just, again, an opinion. I don't think this is true of everything, but there's, you know, look at PC, the way that they have used mechanics to lock down PC for so long, to avoid a fight, to let content be denied to new players, to, almost kind of use mechanics against the game to damage it that sucks to use pro so again all of that isk made from pc and other things is then churned into the ability to just proto stomp over and over and over don't you know lose 20 tanks in a match doesn't matter because we've got 20 districts they're funding you know a massive ability to proto stomp public matches that is also killing the game these people need to go and that's a very bold statement again no game wants to lose people but are these people buying you know literally are they buying aurum very unlikely because they've got isk are these people paying to play this game well no it's a free to play game so i propose to you fellow merc that these people need to go 
And I would almost say that the business model of this game is at risk with them staying. I'm not pointing names. I don't care. I'm not actually singling out anybody here. I'm saying that people who abuse mechanics, people who use this game as a kind of proto-stomp fest 90 90 12, people who just go too far are the people that need to be either ring-fenced and left to their own devices to fuck each other over continually, but they never must be allowed to play new players. Because I know from full, you know, I've, I've recommended this game to many people who, who come to my channel because of other videos. And I say to them, try Dust Out. And I know because I've got literally dozens or hundreds of people who've subscribed through my recruiter link. And they are playing this game and very few of them are sticking around because they get stomped by people who do shit like this. They're getting on top of that, that, that mushroom and shooting down. To us, it's just part of the game because it's become part of the game. Imagine if you're a new player and you come into this game and you, you, can't, you don't have a laser rifle, you don't have a rail rifle, you don't have a sniper rifle, you've just got whatever you've got. And you're then in a game playing against this kind of people. I know you're about to say, well, matchmaking doesn't allow it. Fuck off bollocks it does and this is the problem matchmaking doesn't work the ability to go into any game public match and use any suit is a problem there must be some tier system or banding system that removes prototype fits from certain games there must be certain games that only enable militia suits there must be the ability to say i do not want to fight these people please because this is becoming an issue this game hasn't grown because every time somebody joins the first thing they say is fuck this and they leave and that's true that's what's happening so long long troll and i i really am looking forward to reading the comments on this one but that is my honest opinion now this is just the opinion of a very tired drunk man but i want you to really <laughs> listen to my words here because i'm not naming names i'm not singling out people i'm saying we are all kind of guilty of this when we play the style that we play and i would urge people to maybe moderate this i know they're not going to and this is why ccp need to act they need to act and they need to make militia only matches no vehicle matches for ambush for example no absolutely no ability for prototype stompers to get into matches of people below 10k or 10 million skill points none whatsoever and trust me i play with my 5 million skill point alt and all of a sudden i get a whole gang of proto stompers and i'm just thinking I thought this couldn't happen. I'm afraid it does. So there we go. I cannot wait to read the comments on this one. This is part one, I think. We'll carry on the conversation in the next video. Hope you enjoyed that. See you next time.